It's a simple question, Laura. Did you tell Nicholas he was conceived in love? Don't read into this. Thank you. Stefan. No, it, it helped him. It helped him. It's, it's what he's wanted to believe. And he needed to hear it from you. Did you ever tell him how you first met his father? You mean Stavros? I mean Nicholas's father. You know, I just don't understand why it's important for you to know that. This house has too many ears. Will you come outside with me? Please. Nicholas was asking questions about you. And I told him about the night we met. Pretending, of course, that I'd heard the story from Stavros. I was wondering how you remember it. I don't think we should go back there. Well, if Nicholas asks, our story should match. Okay. What did you tell him? I told him. That for his father, the tides changed course that night. <gasps> Who are you? No one to be afraid of. Well, if that's true, then you'll help me. I'm being held against my will. This way. It's me. I'm the one they're after. Look, please. Don't say that you saw me, please. Let me go, please let me no, go, here, please. Here, here. Come here. No. Be silent. Follow me. Over here. Mr. Cassadine, we did not know you were back, sir. What seems to be the problem? We're looking for a woman, she's trying to flee. I saw someone get into a small boat just east of the jetty. Thank you. She won't survive the rocks. All right. Come out. You're the other brother? Stefan? Yes. You must be Laura, my mother's new captive. Well, why didn't you turn me over I to... know what it is to want to get away from them. This island is a fortress, however. As he said, no one survives leaving unless they want you to go. The tide, the rocks, they're all against you. Sometimes if I can just get away, for an hour or so, it helps. This is the Wild Garden. I've always called it the Wild Garden. Is this the south side of the island? Southeast. It's about a quarter mile from the diving cliffs. Okay. Well, I, I guess I should probably go back. I found this garden is usually very safe.
I'll remember that. Bye. Bye. When I got back to the villa, Stavros was waiting for me. He was furious. And I didn't get to see you again for a week. Six days. Good. And our memory of that time is the same. Apparently so. It gratifies me. No matter what has happened between us since, I've always held firm that Nicholas was conceived in love. The memory of your face that night has never left me. It's funny the things you remember. Again, it begins. No, this is not a beginning. The familiar dance. You draw me close, then pull away. Don't. Now, how long this, this time until you vanish? Our last kiss was a prelude to your death. The kiss before that, a brief parting that lasted a decade and a half. No, I refuse to let oh, you. Oh, then, begin. then this. Is not us bidding each other goodbye. This, this kiss was intended as something more than a signal of flight. This wasn't intended at all. No. Nothing between us ever is. Not what happened between us on the island. Not our silent connection. prisoner anymore. Now, we are free to build a life. You always love staring out of the water. You know, I'm not the same girl that you used to know. Some things don't change. The tie that binds us. It's Nicholas. It's Nicholas. The rest of it was over a long time ago. No. Well, it was for me. Who are you trying to convince, Lasha? You. And I wish that you would listen to me. I am not the same girl who was held captive on that island. When I thought that Luke was dead, a part of me died too. It's Luke. Luke is the one who makes me whole. Is that what he's taught you? That nothing is real except your connection to him? Is he over there? The yacht harbor. Mm-hmm. 
when I was still a teenager. Luke got into a fight with my then-husband, Scotty Baldwin. Scotty knocked him overboard. And everyone thought that Luke had drowned. But he didn't. He got out of the water. And he took my hand. And we ran away. I still remember that feeling. I knew that I would follow him anywhere. Anyway, a lot has changed over the years. But my certainty about that hasn't. And Nicholas and I, what are we? Mere particles in the Spencer cosmos? I love my son. And you... You are a part of his life. And beyond that, there's just nothing more to say. What we had ended a long time ago. Well, all potential crises averted? I just told the babysitter that I would check in with her, that's all. No <laughs> fires or floods? Leslie Lou is fine. Yes, she's fine. Shall we toast the calm with Madeira? <sighs> no. Thank you. I, um... I have to be going. I have, uh... some stops I have to make. Stops? Errands. I have errands. <laughs> no, I remember with Stavros, you used to arm yourself with an arsenal of specifics and deliver them with amazing ease. The days and nights you spent in my arms so artfully explained away. I'm leaving. You know, if you would rather fight the memory, I will refrain from allusions to our past. You won't have to. You won't have to because I, I'm not going to come back to Windermere anymore. From now on, I will just see my son in my own home. No, I have no desire to make you uncomfortable. I'm not interested in your desires or, or in your rehash of our... Our what, Lasha? Our love affair? Because that's what it was for me. We didn't speak the words, but the love was there. And I feel it as deeply now. This can't be a shock to you. You know me as no one has. And surely you realized long ago when I love, I love forever. Oh, God, this can't be happening. It's a fait accompli. No, no, it's not. My life is with Luke. What life? Waiting for calls that never come? Letters that don't arrive? Luke will come back. Going to sleep in an empty bed? Stop it! Stop what? Loving you? I can't. Well, you have to. Why? Because you don't love me? Because I love Luke. So you've said hundreds of times. But what do you feel for me? What is it? Just define it. Name it. For both our sakes. What is it? Attraction? Revulsion? Gratitude? What? I'm committed to my husband. Don't tell me what is impossible. Tell me what is happening right here. Right now. You want to run. I can see that. But what are you running from? Is it my unwelcome feelings? Or could you possibly be afraid of your own? I made a choice. You chose to abandon your son. I understand why you love Luke so insistently. You must. How else can you rationalize the choices you've made in his name? No. No, no. I've made mistakes. I've made a lot of mistakes. Luke is not one of them. He isn't. My future is with him. 
And I'm afraid if you can't accept that, then I really can't come back here anymore. I can accept. I can accept whatever you say. I can. Come and go whenever you please. Visit Nicholas. Bring your daughter when you like. I have no wish to make that difficult. I will speak no more of love. Until you do. It's not gonna happen. For the launch? Oh, no, no. I, I uh, just came back from Windermere. I'm sorry. I should have called to make sure that you were there first. That's okay. You can come back with me now. <sighs> no, I can't. I, I have to get back to Leslie Lou. I'm sorry. It's okay. Well, you could come with me if you... Oh, I'd, I'd love to, but uh, I'm supposed to work with my tutor. Oh, right. Um, what's wrong? Did you have an argument with my uncle? No. Well, you're obviously upset about something. <laughs> Nicholas, it's just when I think about the time that I lost with you, the time that I threw away, no, I, no, I let you grow up without a mother. No, no, I... Don't, don't, that, that's over. I have my mother now. I never intended to stay away. You have to believe that it just wasn't planned. All I wanted to do was was to see Luke, to see if he was alive, if he was all right. But if he hadn't looked back from the balcony I, I, at me... I, I, don't, I don't want to dwell on the past anymore. I mean, let's look ahead. Come have lunch soon, will you? Come, come, come Friday. And bring Leslie Lou, okay? Friday? Do you have other plans? No, I don't have any other plans. Okay. We'll be there. Your lunch is here. All right. Let me walk you home. No. I don't want you to be late for your tutor. <laughs> right. So Friday, then? Yeah. Can I ask another favor from you? I, you can refuse if it, if it feels too draining to you. What is it? Well, I... I have a lot of questions that I, that I want to ask about, about your life with my father. Of course but, you do. But if it, if it disturbs you to talk about it right now, you don't, you don't, you don't have to. It's the most natural impulse in the world to want to know more about your family. I know, but most of all, I, j I just want you to be comfortable. That's the most important thing to me. I mean, I, I want you to be able to enjoy our visits together as much as I do. And I want you to feel like you're at home. Feel like you're at home where I live. Thank you. Friday. Tutor is waiting. Yeah, I, I saw I saw Laura on the docks. How did she see him? What happened? What, what did you say to her? What did she tell you? Well, I, I, I asked if, if you'd argued. She denied it. I, I assumed that she wasn't telling the truth. We didn't argue. We merely spoke of the past. Memories of the island can sometimes be painful for Laura. Was she miserable the, the whole time she was there? No. There were moments of enormous joy. All right, well, can, can we focus on that the next time she comes, please? Whenever that may be. Uh, Friday. I, I, I asked her, uh, along with Leslie Lou, to lunch. And she accepted? Uh-huh. Well, I'll look forward to it. 
Cicero and calculus await. All right. 